All right, made the trip to the lumber store and I purchased uh, some half inch plywood, some three quarter inch maple plywood, and I've also got some one by fours clear pine that uh, we're going to be begin our next step back here. So uh, let me show you what you're going to do next. Now you probably can't see me too well, but I'm not important. What we're going to do next is we're going to build a uh, false floor right here in the back. It'll be about three and a half inches high, four inches once the half inch plywood is on it. And that's going to serve as a couple of storage areas uh, underneath for our cooler and uh, cabinetry on this side. So we're going to uh, get ready to prepare and cut our wood for this. We'll get it installed and then we'll uh, probably varnish the inside to make sure it's sealed. Cut our platform for the top, get it uh, sealed underneath and then we can get that installed. Uh, once uh, we figure out where we're going to put our little doors that we're going to mount on this thing. So let me show you the drawing and show you the sizes that we need to cut. So according to our plans for our cabinets, this is the section that we're going to be working on and we're going to need a couple of uh, pieces here about uh, 20 inches long minus 3 quarters so about 19 and a quarter inches long and we'll also cut this to the shape for the back section these two pieces will mount on each side of the trailer and then we'll cut uh, two pieces to fit inside well this one's going to be uh, on the back side so 46 and a half inches and then we'll figure out what the length of that one is but this is the section that we're going to be working on right now and then we'll get the floor uh, prepared and we'll probably have a 12 inch opening that we're going to use for our storage uh, bins. Okay so you should have two pieces cut at 19 and a quarter inches and I've got the corner of the uh, board here setting flush with our wall then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and scribe across here. We'll get that cut and sanded down to the shape for our sides. And we're going to do that to both sides. And uh, that'll be step one. Okay, you should now have both pieces cut to shape and uh, set in place and lined up with the edge. So we've got a nice flush edge all the way down to the floor and now we're ready to attach these. So to attach these I'll be using some glue and some one inch staples. Uh, this is three quarter inch so we'll be biting into the wood about a quarter of an inch, maybe just a hair over. And uh, mechanical fasteners are just to hold it in place. The glue does the job. So we're going to get both of those sides attached and then we'll do this back section here and then we have one piece for the front that we'll uh, set in place here and then we'll figure out where our dividing line is before we cut our half inch plywood for the top. So that's where you should be. Get those two pieces cut, get the shape set in place, get them marked and then we'll uh, get them attached. Now according to our drawings, we have a wall here in the back and we also have a wall here in the front. So on our wall in the back, our piece is just going to butt up against here, run across, butt up against this edge. Then from this edge here, uh, 15 and 9 16 inches, made a mark on both sides, connected my line, and that is where our plywood is going to set, sort of like like so and that'll give us a wall so now that we'll have a basically a box in here which a floor will go over and we'll have two compartments now with any luck you have your uh, your backboard on and I use pocket screws this is going to be covered by the three quarter inch bulkhead that's going to come up and uh, support the counter so that's what you should have at the moment so that will be the inside of a storage area here once we uh, cover it and put the lids on. Now we're going to 
make the piece that goes across here and that should be about 45 inches wide so I'm getting ready to install the last board for our uh, storage area back here and so for this board it's 45 inches long and I put pocket holes on each end and I marked where the bottom of the edge of the uh, board is going to fit and I'm going to fasten from the bottom up instead of trying to do pocket screws so all this is hidden under here so no one will ever see it so that worked out great so I'm going to spread a little bit of glue set my board in place and then I'm going to start fastening it from the bottom and then I'll get the uh, pocket holes uh, fastened down last and next we'll be put the top on So our box is almost built, but there's one more thing I need to show you, and uh, this is going to help when we bend our wood around from the bottom up. And uh, well, let me show you what I did. So I made uh, about four sets of these, left and rights here, and these are going to go against here, and they are the shape of the sides here. So basically, all I did was take a piece of stock wood, set it up there, trace my line on the outside, double them up, cut it, sand it, and then I'm ready to install. And these are going to be about 9 inches to center from the edge here on each one. And uh, that's kind of what it's going to look like when it's all set up. And that way, when I bend my wood around, I'll have something to attach to. So let's get those installed. Alright, so I have all my blocks cut and uh, I just came over nine inches on center. Nine inches, nine inches, nine inches, and it's nine inches from here to center. And then I'm going to take my block. I've already pre-drilled, countersunk some holes. I'll put some glue on here. We'll set that in place, clamp it, and then we'll fasten it with some screws and uh, that won't be going anywhere. So on the inside, um, I'm going to use four screws on each one, and so that will uh, make sure I got a nice, good connection. So when I bend my wood and my file line around, that it has something to attach to, and uh, won't be flapping in the wind. So we'll get those installed, and then we also have a little bit here on the bottom section, which we're also going to do. Uh, same process so we make sure uh, we've got place for our wood to touch at least anything for glue to hold it So when you finish installing that, that is what you should have. And you should have a nice straight line going across uh, the back side. Let's see if I can't show you. I'm doing one hand here. So you got a nice, even line all the way across. So when you bend your plywood up, it won't be all wavy because one side's shallow and the other one's long and you want to get a nice straight line across there and that's what we're looking for now I need to install the same thing on the bottom and uh, then we call the back section done and then we can get ready to install the top
All right, so we have our uh, small spars installed and uh, looking good. So they're flush with the, with the bottom edge here. So when we put our eighth inch plywood butted up against our quarter inch, it's going to ride up here real nice all the way to the top. And uh, when we get our half inch plywood on here, it'll fasten to the edge of that. So that'll look pretty good. All right, let's talk about the next step. All right, so we've had a busy day. We've got our box installed, and we've got our spars in the back installed, and now we are ready to uh, now we're ready to cut our half-inch plywood to get on the uh, top of our box here. And then we'll place our cooler, and we'll figure out where our divider is going to be, and then where we're going to put our hatches at, uh, so we can have storage. So um, before I do that next task, I cleaned up, and I think that's that's always important. In between tasks, always take the time to clean up and put away your tools. Uh, that way, you're not tripping over them whenever you start a new task, or if somebody happens to come over and want to see what you're doing, they're not stepping all over your tools, and uh, you know what a nightmare that is. If you ever have to rebuy, you know, buy new tools. So put away everything, even the things that you're going to use on your next task, put everything away, and then start fresh. So right now, I could shut the garage door and I could be done for the day um, and not have to come in tomorrow to a mess. So pick everything up, clean everything off, and now we're ready to begin our next task. So next task is we're going to have to cut our half-inch plywood to fit on our uh, storage area here. So, let's get out the saw. Alright, so we've got our floor cut and uh, it fits nice and tight, snug, and uh, right dimension. That's a plus. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction to this series, that uh, I'm building the teardrop around this cooler. And what that means is I want to be able to put the cooler in, so that gave me the placements for all my walls and cabinets and everything. So, my next step is to figure out where this wall is going to be here, and that will give me the dimensions that we're going to need for our under storage here. So, we'll get set up for that. We'll make... Uh, We'll make our cuts, and then we'll be able to cut in our uh, cabinetry here, or not cabinetry, storage areas. So we'll get those lids made and attached, and then we can attach this floor, and then we can start building on the bulkheads. So with that, I need to figure out where I need to put this bulkhead. So let's get that going. So according to our drawings for the uh, back storage unit, this will be the placement of our uh, cabinets. So we're going to go ahead and cut the hole out here on uh, both sides. Then we can install the uh, flooring here in the back and then we can make our lids. We're going to use uh, aluminum trim underneath the edge here so when the uh, lids fit in it rests and stays flush with the top. We'll put a little finger pull on each one where you can lift it and get things out. So that's the top view. Of course, I turned the piece over, and now this is the bottom view, so I want to make sure that I have the, the small hole on the left side, which is the right side of the trailer, and uh, the large hole on the uh, left side of the trailer. Did I say that backwards? Right side, left side? Okay, well, you get the idea. So let me show you what I did. So according to my drawings, this is how I want my holes. So what I ended up doing is turning, turning our deck over, and then I put some guide, uh, guide battens on here around our hole. And then I'm going to flip it over, drill a hole, and then I'm going to take a router and I'm going to route that so it's a nice, clean cut all the way around. And then I can fit my lids because I know that these are pretty square. And, uh, but that's how I'm going to do it. I love using the router. So these are my guide blocks temporarily fastened on the bottom. Once I get my holes cut, 
then these will be removed and voila I'll have a piece that looks like that so that's what I'm gonna do so next step is turn this over and uh, router those tops out so here is the uh, shot of the flooring with our storage area and so uh, that's what you should have if you follow the plans and uh, whether you jigsaw this out or skill saw or router however you would like to do it uh, that's how it's going to turn out so there's one more divider that we have to put under the floor here that'll separate the two compartments and then I have some aluminum trim that we're going to be fastening on the bottom and sticking out about a half an inch and that way our lids will uh, set right on top of that and be flush with the floor and then we'll be able to call this part done we can go ahead and get it glued and fastened into place and uh, cut our cut our lids set those in there then that part's done then we can start working on a bulkhead so I hope you're making some progress and uh, keeping right along so here's the layout of our metal trim that we're going to be putting under the uh, rear floor and uh, location and attachment points and all that good stuff and just kind of mocked up we've got things setting in place so now we're going to pre-drill our holes we're going to go ahead and fasten these down on the underside flip it over put it on top and uh, we'll get this in compartment sealed with some uh, varnish and then we'll uh, then we can fasten that down and call it good and then we can work on the bulkheads all right just a quick shot got all my uh, aluminum pieces cut mitered and uh, pre-drilled and now I'm fastening them on so I have uh, one fastened looks pretty good on the other side and now I'm ready to fasten these so once I get this fastened we'll set it in place give you a shot of that and then I think we might just call this video a wrap so all of our pieces are installed and now we are ready to set it in place and uh, we'll take a look and see what it looks like I think it's gonna look great and there we are so everything is in place we have our aluminum trim in in which our uh, lids will now rest on we'll have a finger pull here we can pull those out and we have storage on, on uh, below yeah that's what I want to say so I think that looks pretty good starting to shape up sweet next will be the lids and the rear bulkhead well thank you for sticking it out this far and I hope that you are making progress with your build uh, as we build along together step by step and uh, yeah so it's a lot of fun a lot of these have been a little bit of a challenge and really good so I'm having a good time building I hope you're doing the same thing so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps it out a lot, uh, more than you know. And uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like. And all the uh, descriptions and items will be down below in most videos, I think. So next time, we'll do the lids and we'll do the bulkhead. And we'll start getting ready to build the uh, cabinet area before we do a lot of varnishing. So until then, please. Stay tuned.